Aloha elephants, welcome to our Black Panther workout. So go ahead and get started with your lying down warm up and we're gonna split this workout into a floor section and a standing section. So after you're done with your warm up, stay on the ground. We got three to four rounds of 12 reps each. Okay, let's first start off on our hands and knees. We're gonna go into a fire hydrant. So make sure all of our joints are stacked, wrist, elbow, shoulder, knees under the hip. You're gonna lift one leg open as high as you can and back down. All right, make sure that you don't compensate by leaning to the opposite side. Okay, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Other side, keeping that neck and back aligned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's flip on over. Now grab one of your weights. We're gonna do a lat pullover. Come down to your back, press the belly button into the floor. Weight goes above the chest, and we're gonna lower it behind us as low as we can. And squeeze right back above the chest. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And depending on your shoulder flexibility, you don't have to actually go all the way down to the floor, just lower as low as you can. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Now roll it on up. We're going to go back into our hands and knees. We're going to do a donkey kick extension. So you're going to kick it up, kick it all the way back, all on one side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Now switch to the other side. Kick it back. One, two, three. I feel like this is Black Panther's one of his signature moves. Doing like a reverse kick. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Gonna go back onto our backs. We are gonna go into a rope climb. Cats are great at climbing. So legs go up. We're gonna reach for the outside of the opposite heel. So reach cross body and cross body. So 12 each side, begin. One, two, three. Try and get those shoulder blades up off the floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Last move, we're gonna flip onto our hands and knees. We're doing a quad ped crunch. So opposite arm and opposite leg, extend out. We're gonna crunch it in and extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Switch sides. Extend it out and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome team, now we're gonna head up to our standing sequence. All right, now for our standing sequence. Our first move is going to be a burpee. We can modify this. So if you need, grab a chair or countertop or bench, and you can just put your hands here, walk it out, do a push up, walk it back in, come to stand, or you do the full version, which will be down on the ground, 
Same thing. You can walk your hands out or jump it out. You can come down to your knees or do it up here on your toes. Do a push up, jump it in or walk it in, and all the way up. All right, lots of energy. Let's jump around like a cat and let's get it going. Ready? Jump down, push up, jump it in, and jump. One, two, three. Four, five, six. You can walk it out. Seven, go down to your knees. Eight, or jump it all out. Nine, ten. 11, and 12. Woo, blood is pumping now, isn't it? Okay, our next move, we're gonna do a stationary alternating side lunge. So we're gonna go to a wide stance. We're gonna sink into one side, switch all the way over to the other. Make sure that your knees do not pass your toes and that your toes are pointing forward. All right, let's sink in. And over, one. Two, three, keep the chest up, back flat, four, very nice, five, and six, three from the side, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, next move, grabbing both of your weights. We're gonna do a hinge and row. So slight bend in the knees, toes pointing forward. You're gonna hinge forward, keeping the back flat, neck aligned. We're gonna row it up, come all the way back up to stand. Hinge forward, row, all the way back up. Begin, one, and two. Squeeze those shoulder blades in that row. Slight bend in the knees, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Keep that neck and back aligned. Nine. Good job, team. We're almost there. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Good. Go ahead and put those weights down. Now it's time for some balance. Cats have amazing balance. So standing on my left leg, I have my left hand. I'm going to reach forward for my foot. Reach back with my right hand for my heel. So you're just gonna rotate forward and back. Reach forward and back. That's three, four. Slight bend in that standing leg. Five, six, seven, eight. So when your foot is forward, it's the opposite hand. When your foot's back, it's the same hand. 10, 11, and 12. Other side. So right hand reaches for the left toe. Left hand reaches for the left heel. Two, three, four, five. Core engage. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Last move. Grabbing both of your dumbbells. We're going to do an overhead dumbbell press. 
So for your shoulders, if you want to keep it safe and comfortable, do a narrow press. So palms are going to be facing in. So you're going to just go straight above and back down. Or you can rotate the palms forward and do a wide press, whichever is comfortable for you. All right, let's begin. One, two, core engage, three, four, back is flat, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome work today, team. Go ahead and get three to four rounds of your floor sequence and three to four rounds of your standing. 12 reps each, and after you're done with your workout, I'm sure you'll be ready for that cat nap. All right, see you next time. Aloha.